Let's talk about these new markets. As Greg Lowe says, this is a multi-decade transformation, and it absolutely is. So, you know, you've been on the street mm -hmm. running regions, and now you're running at the, the, the global sales force for, for us. Electrifications of, of mobility is the thing, but we're not just talking passenger vehicles, are we? Absolutely not. That's where you're starting to see buses, you're starting to see earth movers, ag equipment, cedars and planters. Um, so it's really exciting. And then you even take a look now at, we've got applications that are water sport. So rather than driving an- E-jet ski type Exactly. Things. Really? Yeah. yeah, and boats. <clears throat> I mean, it's interesting yeah. how, you know, um, the transformation from gas to EV reaches a lot of areas. And if you think about it, um, like I mentioned, buses, ag equipment, um, earth movers, the biggest earth movers now are looking to reduce their amount of time spent driving diesel, looking to go EV. Then you look at some of the equipment that goes on inside of buildings, um, forklifts, um, generators, all of those things, there's an advantage multiple advantages of going electric in those spaces. Yeah, and it's it's exciting because you say earth moving equipment, it's standing still for most of its time. And if that's obviously diesel powered, it's just spewing emissions while it's Absolutely. on idle. Well, we haven't even touched on the electrification of all things in the air. We mentioned earlier on about EV toll, mm -hmm. which is really replacing the, the typical helicopter which reduces noise by going electric, um, obviously reduces emissions. Mm -hmm. uh, and there is a lot of applications right now looking to electrify all things in the air yeah. as well. So if you think about it, we've got air, land, and sea yeah. all on the conversion right now. And that's why you're seeing such massive adoption from silicon to silicon carbide.